In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an accountant that you've bought in QuickBooks into Asset Accountant and start to depreciate it directly from here. I'm looking at a fixed asset register in Asset Accountant that is connected to a ledger within QuickBooks. I will go to, to QuickBooks and post the new asset that I've purchased. So here I'm going to choose a new expense. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to assume I'm buying a new laptop. So say my supplier is Computers by Jenny. I post this to a clearing account that we've set up specifically for this purpose. And then let's say this is a new Lenovo laptop. And that's $2,000 laptop for this join up. Then I'm going to save and close that expense. So that's now saved a $2,000 expense into the me draft asset clearing account within QuickBooks. Then I go back to Asset Accountant and click on the Draft Assets tab. That will go and interrogate the clearing account within QuickBooks. And you can see here it's picked up a new Lenovo laptop. Here I can just click Add the Asset. And you can see it's pulled through the details, pulled through the name from QuickBooks. It's also pulled through the cost. So all I need to do is just say that's a computer. Then it will bring up all the tax and accounting depreciation options. What appears here first are the default depreciations for computer equipment but I can change those if I want to. So if I wanted to apply section 179 depreciation to that, for example, I could do all the IRS bonus depreciation is also available as an option. And then I can just review my accounts depreciation to make sure that's correct. Once I've done that, I save the asset. That asset now appears in the computer equipment balance sheet. So I can see there my new Lenovo laptop. And then the final action I need to take is to create a journal. So I'm just going to create the remaining journal for the month of October. And you can see here in this journal, the system has posted an entry to clear out that $2,000 from the clearing account, post it to the correct account within QuickBooks Online, and then begin to depreciate the computer there. So once I've selected that and reviewed it, I can click post to QuickBooks Online. Asset Accountant will then go and post that journal directly into QuickBooks. And there's a link here so you can see the journal that has been posted is now appearing in QuickBooks Online. 